WhatsApp. Yep. All right. Hello, everyone. So today we have a special episode going on today with my twin brother, Don, all the way from Moncton, New Brunswick. How you doing, Don? Hey, Ron. How's it going? That's going okay. <laughs> this is exciting. So uh, the topic we picked today is uh, heavy rock and songs. Don and I, for a long time, used to swap songs back and forth and uh, not one up each other, but, you know, prove, hey, man, you got to hear this song or I'd love to hear this song on a, on a playlist. So uh, at the end of our little show here, then uh, we'll have to go back and hold these songs for to listen after <laughs> on your own because Absolutely. it's going to be a rock and there'll be lots of rock stuff. All right, Donnie, start, it, start us off here. Well, we're doing 10 each, 10 songs each, back and forth. Yes, so heavy songs that always get me going when I listen to this song is, uh, of course, from a band that meant a lot to us growing up, Judas Priest, and the song would be uh, Painkiller. Donnie. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, those guys, Painkiller, uh, you know, not only musically, these guys were the best, but the vocals, the lead singer, as everyone knows, is considered in a lot of circles is probably the best metal singer ever, in my opinion. So, yeah, Painkiller would be my number one pick. Nice. Tough to beat that. Okay. Guess what? My number one pick. Screaming for Vengeance from this yes. album. Probably... <laughs> Yeah. That song. It, Title it, song. Yeah. Maybe the most played album that we ever had as kids growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, it's up there, isn't it? For sure. Yeah, it is. It's up there. Yeah, this is I've had this puppy for a long time. Look at that. I like a I like a bunch of songs on this, but Screaming for Vengeance is the one. It is. So priest priest. Priest priest. What next? Well, we're twins, so everything is duplicated. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so for me, I guess the next, uh, and maybe probably my favorite band, if you said you get to pick one band, what's your favorite band? For me, it's Iron Maiden, and The Trooper is is the song for me. Gets It gets you going. It's It's super high energy, and Dickinson is the man for sure. Yeah. Okay. That's a good choice. So I, I really dug into my, obviously with me, I'm all about, I only list, I don't know, you listen to stuff, stream stuff. Is that right? Uh, some, I mean, uh, some. There's, okay. Well, with, as you know, with me, it's all about what I own, it, it, what's in my collection. I don't stray. I listen to the radio. I look at some YouTube uh, stuff, but that's it. So gleaming my collection for for days to talk to you and that so my second pick is black sabbath from this album born again which is not an album most people even think of right no. but the song that i'm picking and throwing at you here is called digital bitch and it's a wicked song so this yeah, i, I like this song. album actually i like this album this is ian gillen singing on this album so yeah and that's one of the reasons why i wouldn't have picked that because to me black sabbath is the original heavy metal band and ozzy is the original heavy metal singer so i mean i i respect and totally get it but it's just not my thing yeah yeah i saw that tour at maple leaf gardens i don't remember who was with me or whatever um but that's the tour i saw a quiet riot open that show yeah i think i was at the same show wasn't i uh, wasn't maybe twisted, wasn't twisted sister also on the bill <laughs> might have been yeah I such think a long time twisted sister quiet riot and uh then sabbath and twisted sister all the all d snyder did was get up there and yell profanities at the crowd it's i don't crazy. know man it's uh, i i have trouble remembering a lot of our old stuff from way back <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure that, it, that was the lineup and i mean yeah you'll see what quiet riot means to me later on all right Hit me. I guess number three for me, uh, 
I don't know if it's considered metal or not. Definitely hard rock, uh, Van Halen eruption. All right. Yeah. You know, like, but the first Van Halen song or album is just chock full of heavy, heavy tunes. Yes, yeah, for sure it is. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. So obviously my next pick, and just, just <laughs> for those watching, you're going to be like, oh, these guys, well, we're, you know, we're of the age, this is our stuff, right? I mean, the stuff that we grew up on is still the most stuff, like if you said, okay, you and me are going to throw this stuff back at each other, obviously, right? I mean, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and these bands are still touring for a reason. Yeah. The song from this that I love, that I would say, okay, we're going to listen to a, hard, a fast song, a really fast, it's, it's not so much hard and heavy, but fast as Back in the Village. I love that song. It's so it's, fast. Yeah. It's a great This song. is my favorite. This is my favorite Maiden record, but it's close between this and Peace of Mind. It's really close. So. Yeah. They're excellent albums. Yeah. All right. You're up. Uh, you know, all the bands that we grew up listening to, I still listen to. And, but I did, I did accept some of the newer heavy metal bands as well yeah, yeah. and uh i like a band called pantura and then okay. a song called electric funeral nice it's, just a, it's, it's a really cool tune and it's a heavy band obviously and uh yeah i like that a lot so you want to hear something don they're not a band i've ever really even listened to no and i kind of fell into it by listening i kind of got into the uh mega death and all that stuff for a little while and and that was one of the bands so i think that um i don't know when when those bands were really erupting and getting huge i was for a while there i stepped out of the hard rock stuff and i was into like my i don't know my 80s music and stuff like that whatever um so i i just they it never grabbed me i mean i at work a bunch of younger dudes that are into this kind of heavy music are just, yeah. you know, massive fans of those bands, obviously. And, yeah. you know, Pantera reuniting, you know, it's a major buzz. They're playing at Bud stage this summer and some people are going bonkers over this. Oh, but yeah. It's a real it's... split, right? Because some people have a big problem with them getting back together. So, yeah, no, I mean, and there's a lot of new bands, new metal bands now that are really good but really all sound the same. And I find like that, that time frame of Pantera and maybe even Megadeth early on, those bands, like they kind of duplicated each other's sound and they were all amazing musicians. But if you listen to one, you kind of, you heard the other guy too, you know what I mean? And yeah. some of these new metal bands now, they just, they like this halo effect in these other ones. Uh, LA Guns is another one. They sound the same. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you look at the set of stuff that I'm throwing out here today, uh, you know, it's old school, you know, the what we'd call metal that we grew up with. But the, I think the big thing that shines to me on all the stuff that we're talking about or I'm showing you today is the the players, the musicians. The musicianship is like off the charts, man. Oh, like, great. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll cut in now because I told you I would bring this up, but I work with some guys that are in a metal band and they have distorted vocals. So you can't understand lyrically what is being. Okay, so about. I've heard, so I've been, well, I've been watching, uh, you probably wonder why are you doing this stuff, Don? Or, or, or why are you doing these videos, Ron? And it's, I started watching a lot of YouTube videos, Sea of Tranquility, a guy named Norman Maslov. Um, noble records and some of these guys talk with some shows about some really heavy stuff and so i've started to learn about some of the stuff that i never really paid attention to like these bands that have what they call uh growl vocals and stuff yes. like this it's wild yeah, <laughs> yeah but but we never like i never got into any of that you know what i mean yeah. i like see see i like songs i want to hear the songs you know what i mean so do i but these guys that I work with have this band called Conjure the Old. It's worth checking out because musically, if you could just like replace the the singer with a lyrical guy, they actually write words too. Like, but you can't understand what they're saying. But the 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 music is 
amazing. And when I act when I talk to them about music, who influences them, and you think like really like underground hardcore stuff. No, nope. um, like Rush, huge because they're musically advanced players. They just for some reason they think that this is the genre that they that you know they're going to make it. And and I and I'm telling them like sorry. It's not like people need to be able to relate to the song and and sing it. Yeah, like That's this. My this opinion. Yeah, this one uh, YouTube channel I watch, Theo Tranquilly, they have some shows, and some of these guys they talk like they're they go to Europe to see shows. I mean, it's crazy, man. And you know, it's kind of like what we were back in the day, I guess, into the stuff. But uh, you know some of the stuff they call it all these different genres of metal like death metal and all this yeah. kind of stuff and i'm like yeah and that's metal. not really yeah. what i'm gonna it, it's not really my thing you know i'm more into the 80s melodic stuff like i don't listen to my metal stuff all the time but i would say you know it's still it's still it's still a big part of what i do listen to you know what yeah I mean? yeah all right it's my turn next this is another one from back in the day. I'm sure you'll remember it. Brokus Headhunter is the song. Remember that? Yeah. Great song, man. Great. Great band. Yeah. Great song. This is a good record. You know, and those those guys are really like British wave metal. And yeah. They kind of brought kind of a a, a grungier, heavier bass line to what yeah. we already liked. Right. right? And yeah, huge bands. Okay, you're up. Um, I'm going to stay in the same vein because uh, it, it's an important time for me too. And I'll, I'll pick uh, Megadeth. And there's lots of Megadeth songs, but my my favorite song is Sweating Bullets. I've heard uh, that. I've heard that song. Yep. But yep. Sympathy for Destruction, like those guys were, those guys were Metallica talented. And uh, they've had a great in fact they're playing in moncton like next week oh really yeah at the avenir center so kind of cool Megadeth are you going? still at it i wish i was but you know i i'm going to see a more important band this summer that i'll talk about later yes okay <laughs> all right all right i'm up next this is another i'm sticking it's all pretty much throwback stuff don because i knew you were going to be talking to me so you know to make us smile and think back and this is, I love these guys. And this song is called Heavy Metal Thunder from the Mighty Saxon. Strong Arm of the Law is the record here. I Set love it. Leather. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. I saw Again. them, I guess. <laughs> so I don't know, but I don't know. It's like four years ago, five years ago. I saw them with Colin here, right in Oshawa, Ontario. They opened for Priest. That's awesome. And it was great to see them finally. And I mean, they're still going at it. And they're, oh, for sure. Biff Byford is getting old now. <laughs> He's still doing it, man. Yeah, those guys are hardcore, man, for sure. Yeah. And I'll stay, in the, I'll stay in the same vein as Saxon and right. give you one right now. Uh, accept balls yep. to the wall. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Except like, those guys. Yeah. Very much like Saxon in terms of the sound. And the lead singer was really like he. he yeah, you really, do. I pulled them out. They're they're on my uh, honorable mention list to show you uh, yeah, quickly after. Except, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's here's probably the here's the one that when I first started talk talking thinking about having this chat with you, this is the one that jumped out to me. And oh my god, I love this album so much. And this the song is Dynamite from Scorpions from the Blackout album. There's two Amazing. songs on here that you could pick, but I mean, Dynamite to me is just listen to that song and it's so great. It's singing, yes. it's nuts. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, really, really awesome. Yeah. I can't believe I'm a little surprised. I got to, so far, I thought we were going to pick the same song a bunch of times, but it hasn't well, happened yet. I have two songs picked from every band that I was going to talk about. Because yeah. I thought we would duplicate songs. I, I I pulled out some spares just in case. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my next pick will be uh, Metallica. I knew you were going to pick Metallica. That's why I didn't pick any Metallica. I like, so you, you'll have to fill me in because I know you're more of a Metallica guy than me. 
I, I you know, I don't pretend. I love the new record, though. You no, like yes. It? Yes. Freaking yes. fantastic. Those guys the, don't sell out. Like, and they, when they put a record together, um, it it's it's professionally done, obviously, and all of the guys in the band have an equal part in putting a bit, the songs together. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the new record, 72 Seasons. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. So what, what song are you picking from Metallica? Uh, Master of Puppets. Yeah. But I, it's hard because I my favorite, probably, I don't know, I think my favorite song to like rock out to from Metallica is Sad But True. But I also like one, I mean, anything off the Black Album is amazing. And uh, they're, they're something else. I mean. They, I like the last, see, I wasn't into them. Again, same kind of answer as before, right? I that wasn't into that kind of stuff at that time. But the last three albums they put out, those, you know, the last three ones, 72 Seasons, Hardwired, and Death Magnetic, I love them all. I think they're great. Yeah, they're really good. They've kind of gotten back to the really almost earlier stage, I find, like, it's it's really good music. Really good. People music. were so critical of them though, eh? Because they are such they were such an important band to people. So, you know. They made some shitty songs too along the way, just like all bands do, but yeah. whatever. All right, here's one for you that I'm this I think you'll I'm sure you'll remember. And I have two other albums that I still play occasionally. And this is pretty cool stuff. Definitely you you know, you're this is 80s new wave of British. <laughs> Tokyo Blade. And the song is Night of the Blade. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I know that. Oh my god, it's it's just that that fast kind of sort of like scorpion sound in a way, you know? Very good, very good uh musicians. I've got two of their records still. I play them. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um so we talked about them earlier, mentioned them, and for me uh maybe the best song to like just bang your head to is quiet riot <laughs> what song right? uh metal health for sure yeah it's yeah. it's so awesome man yeah you know that that band was amazing and he was great eh kevin he was great. yeah he was good yeah, it's a big loss in the music world right so yeah yeah for, for sure. me that that song that song sometimes i'll play that and tracy's at work or whatever and like just blow the doors off, you know. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's my next one. This is our old school one. One of my first, not first, but an early, early album I've had for a long time. It's an EP. Queen's Right, and the song that I thought of right away is Queen of the Right. Great it's, band. You you can see that my my um. Definitely, if you look at my stuff, Don, the taste, uh, I have a certain flavor of it. It's very melodic, um, higher kind of sounding, higher register vocals, uh, wicked musicianship. These guys are sort of like the, you know, the precursor to what you would call progressive metal. So a lot of these progressive metal bands, these are the guys that were doing that stuff before oh, yeah. that. these bands now try to copycat this band because this yeah. band was the best. Yeah. Like, yeah. Seriously, the singer is off the I, I saw them. Don at Bud stage. This is oh geez, gotta be seven years ago at least with Colin finally, and they opened for Scorpions, and it was one of my favorite shows that I've seen. Yeah, Queens Strike and Scorpions. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have my list here, and I don't know if I should continue with it or wave on it because guess what the next song is? What? Scorpions Blackout. No way. <laughs> yeah, because uh, man. The whole yeah. album's amazing, as you yeah, know. It is. Yeah, and uh, these guys, these guys are the, the real deal. Yeah, fantastic. All right, well, here's a change up. I've been staying in my lane, but we we're talking about heavy or you know hardcore hard, hard songs that you throw at you, you know, back and forth. And uh, they're one of my favorite. Well, they were. They're gone now, of course, but they're certainly one of my favorite um, super groups. And the song is set it off from Audio Slave. And this is yeah. their first, their first record. Man, <laughs> what a song. There's a bunch of cooking songs on that. 
that record for sure that they're not metal but who cares they're just like wicked songs yeah yeah some hard rock songs are better than metal yeah um, in fact i'll talk about uh, motley crew who was a big part of our music life um and obviously the song that jumps out is kickstart my heart because of the high energy but yeah. i, I want to bring up like looks that kill would also kill too yeah i mean you crank that baby up and holy <laughs> macro yeah. um, those guys they, they had it figured out obviously all right so my last one that i want to to talk to you about is i started with the priest got the priest shirt on and we're ending with the priest from my 10 songs okay but not an old one the last two newer priest albums are just wicked good like really good and the one that i really like is the an album called redeemer of souls and the song is halls of valhalla and if you haven't heard this song holy mackerel they've got some songs on this record that are just wicked i mean look at the artwork on this record yeah, a band like that just gets better and better every album out, right? And they were amazing to begin with. So think where they yeah. are, where they're yeah. at now. It's yeah, it's kind of not even fair. Um, how many right. songs is that? Did we do it? We did it. But do you have any other honorable mentions you want to toss out here? Yeah, I do. Uh, one one, in, and it's not a metal band at all. Uh, but the song in itself is blow you away, and that's run from Foo Fighters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love that song. I play yeah. it like crazy. Yeah. And I love the and I love the band, obviously. I and was just talking to that to a buddy at, at work. We talk music a little bit and we were just talking uh at work uh, last week I think it was about when I did my Foo Fighters show and we were talking about that very song actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's something else. It's great. And um and Dave Grohl obviously came from the grunge era with Nirvana and that, that, that era turned out some really amazing bands, as you know, obviously. And, yeah. uh, you know, that's another show all, all in itself, but some of those bands put out some kick-ass songs too. Right. Yeah. Like even smells like teen spirit, that yeah. thing cranked up is that's killer. For oh sure. yeah. Yeah. And, uh, another one I want to talk about is, uh, obviously, the original metal band Black Sabbath, and I mean I could pick a million songs, but for me, War Pigs and Paranoid are the two that I would, yeah. you know, yeah. select and and yeah. play them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I got some honorable mentions. I'll toss out at you. Can't we can't go without mentioning Motorhead, Ace of Spades. Of course. Okay. Um, we can't really go and this was on my first my 10 list but you know i thought okay well to be fair it's not like it's like as high up to me as importance but uh, a little canadian band that's been around for geez, a long time one of the one of the originals of the genre really anvil metal on metal amazing yeah um i also pulled out you're gonna laugh at this accept the song fast as a shark that's yeah. a good song <laughs> <laughs> and to go along with your point about uh it's not this is this is one here the last one i'll show that isn't a traditional metal band but um they're kick-ass that's for sure they just got into the rock and roll hall of fame actually which is the only one that made me smile from that list that got presented rage against the machine bulls on parade but yep. they've got a few songs on this this is a a, a live cd They've got a few songs on this that is, <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have a party, on. if you have a party and people are kind of standing around just sipping their drinks and you throw on Killing in the Name, guess yeah. what? They're not sipping their drinks anymore. The roof's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so tell me what's, uh, we, you know, you don't, you and I are both, we don't go to as many shows, but what shows do you have lined up at all? You've got yeah, the big so, one, right? Uh, this summer, August 5th, outdoor concert in Moncton here is Guns N' Roses. And oh, it's that, August 5th. That's coming yeah. up before you know it. Yeah. And Tracy and I are going, obviously, because it's a bucket list band for me. And, uh, you know, I would even, uh, since we're talking songs, you know, I would put some of their stuff. And they have a lot of melodic sort of rock songs that are, you know, 
Sweet Child of Mine, all that stuff, you know, but Civil War is a kick-ass song. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I would throw that in there in our metal talk for sure. But I'm very excited to see them live. It's a bucket list band for me, for sure. Cool. Yeah. And you? Uh, well, recently, Kara and I went to, this sounds funny, but we went to, uh, up to Casino Rama, we saw Chicago. Yeah. And it was fantastic. Like, it was oh. so much better than I thought it was going to be. We're going back up to Casino Rama in July uh, to see Burton Cummings. Hopefully, yeah. they'll still be with. <laughs> you know, yeah, these yeah. guys are getting up there, right? So it's yeah, no, sort of like a last chance to see them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and it's uh, you know, uh, we don't get a we don't get a lot of the the mainstream concerts being down here where the population isn't what it is there. So to have Guns N' Roses come as part of their tour to Moncton is, is pretty exciting. No, that will be exciting. Went, the tickets went fast, obviously. And it's, it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I don't even care if they, they don't, you know, like obviously Axel is not going to be able to hit all the stuff that he used to hit. Where but is this show? Where is it? It's at outdoor show at the university football stadium. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got like, I got like row seats on the floor. So it's going to be good. Do you see behind me what I put up on my wall? It's going to be a rocking show. What do you got there? You got Sabbath and Rush. What's the other one? Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Smashing Pumpkins. I That's changed a, some things around because I wanted to put... Be, what genre would Smashing Pumpkins be? Uh, well, they came out. They burst out uh, during the grunge scene, but I okay. wouldn't call them a grunge band. Yeah. No, no. I mean, even the Pumpkins, you could pick out some songs that are, you know, in that in this list of discussion for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most of the bands that we listen to, even though there may not be um, metal bands per se, a lot of those bands still, you know, put out some great songs. Like a lot of the guys, like I work with some younger guys, Don, right? At, obviously at work. And I mean, there's a lot of, and I follow some of these sites that I, that I, you know, constantly consume music stuff from. And a lot of these bands they talk about in that, they're, they're you know, they're good and all that kind of stuff. But I'm a song person and I like to be able to sing along to the songs, remember the songs, you know, sing in the car, you know, whatever. And the music on a lot of these harder edge stuff, it's it's crunching, it's good and all that stuff. But you got to have the songs that a person yeah. can sing to, you know. What I mean? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. A lot of it is just hammering, you know, the hammering the sound at you, but there's no there's no memory to the song at all so yeah i yep. agree i like to and that's why i love maiden because they they write songs that are heavy and fast but you can still understand what they're saying and they have a story and you know like the whole thing i went through i took my time for this list here and and uh there's one particular band that you and i both grew up with that didn't quite get into my list because I wouldn't call them hard enough or, or whatever metal in this kind of discussion. And that's ACDC, but they had a couple of songs that I was like, ah, oh, they're right there, you know, brain shake landslide from that flick of the switch album, which was their heaviest album, but you know, whatever. Right. I mean, yeah, no, I agree. I, you know, I've, I would never call ACDC a metal band, but there's a no. lot of these bands, you know, yeah, I guess if you want to label them, they're metal, sure. But and I would take some of ACDC songs like Squealer up against any metal band. Sure. And, yeah. and they'd hold their own, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, What's up for the rest of the day? Maybe my third favorite band overall would be ACDC. Yeah. Maybe okay. Van Halen and then ACDC. That's Very my good. choice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What do you got off the like, rest? I do listen to a lot more Metallica than probably you do. Oh yeah, I think you do for sure. I'm just, yeah, I'm I'm sort of enjoying their new stuff more. Yeah, it's good. You know. What's up for the rest of the day? Uh, well, I'll probably take Tracy out for a dinner. Nice. And uh, play some heavy songs after maybe. <laughs> Use this as our playlist. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, thanks a lot for doing this with me. It's nice to, me. nice to uh, to see you. So are you digging this little thing I'm doing? I am. I am. I'm looking forward to, uh, and I'm, you know, I don't want to put any ideas in your ear. 
However, I've got a list already, man. Go ahead. No, I'm sure you do. But I, I know you, you looked at, I texted you a couple of list ideas recently. Great cover songs, grunge, um, one off songs. You know, there's all kinds of interesting yeah. and fun topics that I'm sure you're going to get into. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's great because, uh, I don't even know what life would be like without music. So I'm glad that. Yeah. Yeah. You and me, this is what, uh, what we we've always done. You know what I mean? And I'm still, I'm still clinging to my old school physical stuff. I love my physical stuff, my records and my CDs. And I still listen to the radio too, but you know, other than watching these shows on YouTube or searching out a song, if they mention it, I don't stream anything, but well, Whatever. You know. Tracy was away and I had her vehicle for 10 days or whatever. And I, I got spoiled because I was listening to Sirius XM Ozzy's Boneyard for two weeks straight. And did you uh, like it? Love it. And yeah. You know, they play they play a lot of the mainstream heavy rock, but they also play some not as popular heavy rock, and that's fun too. The B side oftentimes is, you know, really good. And yep. Uh, yep. I understand that bands have to pay the bills and they have to have the popular songs and all that stuff. But Ozzy's Boneyard, they they play uh, they play some stuff that you know you might not ever hear. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> probably. Oh man, it's got to be two decades at least when they when it became popular in a vehicle. But when I bought my car, one of the main things I was looking for is a CD player that had to have, because nowadays most modern cars don't, but this, right. my golf does. And uh, my daily routine hasn't changed. I, for decades now, a couple of decades, every day I pick out my ride along for the day. And if I hear something on the radio or a chat with somebody or someone says something and it goes, Oh, I'm going to listen to that band. I go in my CD collection and that's my ride along for the day. <laughs> I've been doing right. it forever. That's why it's fun to do uh, lists and stuff because it kind of provo- it kind of you know gets you listening to other stuff that maybe you know you go to the same stuff all the time and if if you have a list that you're hey I want to listen to this list or whatever some idea like you said um, it steers you in a different direction you listen yeah to maybe you wouldn't, you for know. a while there Don I was really buying up some albums like vinyl records again. And I love my vinyl records, but they're expensive. And, you know, I only have a certain budget. So um, recently I started buying CDs again. But my my kick with CDs, and I'll focus on that at some point, but I've got an, <laughs> quite a collection now of CDs. I like to buy CDs that are greatest hits because you can get like a lot of the best songs on a CD. You know what I mean? So that's what I like to that's do. That's another show for you right there. The best, greatest hits albums ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks All for right. doing this. Thanks for having me. All right, buddy. See you later. Bye.